Hi, my name is Mike Rand with 3 Sharp. In this visual how to creating a custom workflow activity for SharePoint Server 2007 using Visual Studio 2008, I'm going to show you how to create a custom activity that we can reuse in our workflows. In this case, we're going to be sending an email with an attachment. Let's get started. The first thing we need to do is we need to create our custom activity project. So we're going to go up here to File, New, Project. And we're going to select Workflow under the Project Types, and we're going to select Workflow Activity Library. And we're going to rename this Send Mail with Attachments Activity. Go ahead and hit OK. Here we have our default activity, activity one. We're going to go ahead and click on that and rename this to send mail with attachment activity. Go ahead and hit enter. Go ahead and say yes to this prompt to rename. And now we're ready to get to work with our custom activity. Switch over to code view now. Now we're in our code view. The first thing we need to do is add some dependency properties. I have a code snippet that I'm going to paste in here. So this creates a public static dependency property and it registers that property with the type and the type of activity of the owner. So the one thing I wanted to point out here is most of these are string properties but this last one is an, ev is an event handler and that's important as you'll see later. Now that we have our dependency property fields, we need to add properties for them. So I'm going to go ahead and paste that in right now. You'll see these are decorated with certain attributes, designer serialization visibility. This allows this property to be visible in the designer properties window of a workflow. Now we need to add the property to hook up our event, the invoke event you saw above. So I'm going to go ahead and paste in that uh, code right now. So this is where we're doing a base.add handler and a base.remove handler to handle our event structure. Now we need to override the execute method. So we'll type in protected and we'll select the execute method. Go ahead and enter and then I'm going to paste in some code here. In this grace basically we raise our invoke event we set up our SMTP server client create a mail message set up the message send that off and then we send back an activity execution status of closed now we just have a couple more things we need to do to our acti activity to get it ready to go okay we need to do two more things to our activity here so we're going to scroll up to the top. You'll notice that this inherits from sequence activity. We want it to inherit just from activity. And you'll see why later when we move on to our workflow. The other thing we need to do is we need to add a using statement here. Using system.net.mail. Go ahead and hit save now. In order to use our custom activity, we need to install it in the global assembly cache. To do that, we need to make sure that our project has been strong named. So we'll select our project, right click, select properties, let's bring up our properties window, select the signing tab, check sign the assembly, and then from the drop down select new, uncheck to protect my, my key file with the password in this scenario. We'll just type in key here and click OK. Now we'll rebuild our project. There we go. Now we're ready to move on with our next step. Now we need to install our DLL into the global assembly cache. I've opened up a Visual Studio 2008 command prompt and navigated to the directory that holds our DLL. I'm going to type in gacutil
forward slash I F sin. And then the name of our DLL here. And hit enter. Now we've successfully added our assembly to the global assembly cache. We're ready to move on. We're now ready to reuse our send mail with attachments activity. So go ahead and close this project and now we're going to create a new workflow project. I have here opened a Visual Studio 2008 sequential workflow project and as you can see we just have the default layout. So we're going to select general from the toolbox then we're going to select from the menu tools choose toolbox items here in our choose toolbox items dialog you'll notice we have several tabs and on the far right we have activities this is where we can go to set up our custom activity so we'll select that now now our custom activity isn't here by default so we're going to need to browse to that so we'll go ahead and click browse we'll browse to our DLL go ahead and select it and click open and then click OK You'll notice now our activities available in the toolbox. Now let's drag an instance of our custom activity onto the designer surface. We'll drop it right below the on workflow activated activity. You'll notice over here in the properties window, we have several different properties including invoke. We're going to set these properties in code. So go ahead and click the events window and then double click on the invoke property. This takes us over to code view and provides us with a method that we can then provide code that will get called from our activity. I have some code that I've created for our ac invoke activity method here. So I'm going to go ahead and paste that code in now. You'll notice we're setting up the to, the from, the CC, subject, body attachment, and our SMTP server here. All this code is available in the Visual How To article. I want to point out in a real world scenario, we would never hard code these values. We would get them either from an initiation form or from a task form or some other method to provide these values. I'm doing it here just to demonstrate how we can use our activity. All that's left to do now is to run our workflow. This has already been associated with a document library in SharePoint. Then all we need to do is run this workflow for a specific document, go to our Outlook, and see that we have an email with an attachment. Here I have SharePoint open, and I have a document in here. We're going to go ahead and run our workflow on this document. So select it, open up the dropdown, select Workflows and now we're going to click and run our send with attachments workflow demo looks like our workflow is completed so now we'll open up Outlook and see if we have an email with an attachment and here we have our email with the attachment that we expected This was a quick demonstration of how to create custom activities that can be reused in your workflows. For more information on creating sequential workflows, see the visual how to Building an Expense Report Approval Workflow for SharePoint Server 2007 using Visual Studio 2008, as well as configuring and deploying a workflow to SharePoint Server 2007 using a solution package.